focus on this, exploring life's challenges. A question that has come in for us today is, I find myself saying yes in situations that I later regret. Um, One thing that I want to highlight about that is that a lot of times being a yes person and saying yes in situations where it might not be helpful to us in the end, that that often comes from our strengths, whether it's the fact that we are very kind or compassionate or that that is because we're diligent, uh, we have a lot of perseverance. A lot of times those are positive qualities that we don't necessarily want to have less of. We just want to be able to find the balance between figuring out when it's useful to use those qualities and when it's not useful to use those qualities. Can you help me understand how I, how I might know the difference when it's helpful for me and maybe not helpful for me? Definitely. I think that one of the best ways to answer that question of, you know, when is this good for me versus when is this not good for me comes down to what do I have to give right now? Where am I at? Um, I think we've all heard the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup. And so we got to check in with where is our cup at right now? Do we feel like we have a lot to give right now? Do we feel like we have resources and things that we'd like to share with others? If so, absolutely. Then it's probably good for us and probably good for them as well. On the other hand, if we're finding that our cup is, you know, dwindling down, almost empty, we don't have a whole lot to give, then maybe it wouldn't be helpful to us to say yes and be there for that person or step in and do that thing. A lot of times we just want to make sure that we check in with what do we have to give and where are we at? And that can help us determine, are we able to be helpful or would it be more helpful for us to take care of us? Sometimes it's, it's, it's in my character to want to help people so much that every once in a while I'll find that I'm putting their needs out in front of mine and mine are taking a back seat. Yeah, it can definitely feel out of character to put your own needs first when often the priority has been taking care of other people. And if you think about it, taking care of yourself when you need it, when your cup is empty, the best way that you can take care of other people. If we don't take time to refill our cup, then we're not going to have anything to give for folks in the future or for a longer period of time than if we say yes, burn ourselves out, empty our cup, and then have to wait a while before we can refill that. So th- this has really been useful so far. But how do I learn to actually say no if I'm recognizing now that maybe I'm not taking care of myself? Yes, that's a great question. That is something that we we need practice in order to learn. We don't just automatically wake up and know how to say no. We have to try it out get practice with it and feel more comfortable with it in order to be able to say no. So as crazy as it sounds, I think the most important thing to do is to practice. That might mean picking one thing that seems like a small thing that we truly do not want to do or do not feel like we have the energy to do and practice saying no to that during your life, during the week to a person that you you feel safe with or about a thing that seems more minor. Try to say no. See what happens. The more comfortable that you are saying no to things that are small, the more comfortable you're going to be being able to say no to things that are bigger. Again, this is really good information, but every once in a while I find that I'm having a knee-jerk reaction to continue to say yes, even when I know in the back of my mind, no is probably going to be a better answer. We have all been there. Um, I think that in this case, yes, Saying no to small things and practicing can be a helpful way to get us started. But also, in situations like that, sometimes just taking a pause to breathe and not feeling the pressure of being in the moment in that situation is enough for us to say, okay, really now that I can pause and I have the ball in my court to come back to you, I think it feels safer and I actually would like to say no. Mark Foreman here. Thanks for checking out Focus Psychological Services' YouTube channel. To get more videos like this, click on the right here, press subscribe and ring the bell. And be sure to check out the website. The link is down below.